what is a landing page, what to include on your landing page, and when to use one. That's what we're gonna go through in today's video. Also, I have a bonus tip. If you stick around until the end, I'll show you how you can spy on your competitors and figure out what their landing pages look like. So definitely stick around for that. But let's get into the video. What is a landing page? A landing page is a one-page website with one objective. Generally, that objective is to capture someone's name and email address. Sometimes you can ask for more information for that, but the landing page is created to basically give something to the visitor for free in exchange for their contact information. There's a whole bunch of things you could give away to get someone's contact information. It could be a webinar, some other training, a guide, checklist. If you have a software, maybe it's a free trial, but you need to give something of value away to get someone to sign up to your email list on this landing page. Before we get into what to include on a landing page, I think it's really important to talk about what to exclude. There are certain things you don't want on a landing page because it's gonna distract the viewer and you don't want that. So the first thing to exclude on your landing page is any navigation. So think of your website up along the top, the about us, contact us blog, or whatever you may have along the top of your website, that's gone, that's a distraction. Also in the footer, any links you may have down there, again, those don't belong on a landing page. The second thing to make sure exclude are any links to your social media. Again, you don't want someone to go to your Instagram, check out a couple of your posts, go to someone else's Instagram, get distracted, again, not sign up. And the third thing to make sure to exclude from your landing page are any other external links. You don't want someone clicking on and going to any other page, your blog, other products, contact you, so anything. You wanna make sure that they're there, focused on sign up or leave. Those are the only two options available, except for the only things that you could have links to could be a privacy policy or any other legal things that you need to or want to include at the very bottom of your landing page. Those are the only links besides the submit contact information button. Now let's talk about what you need to make sure to include on your landing page. The first thing is an attention grabbing headline. So this should be a large, bold font that's easy to read, a handful of words that explains what it is that you're giving away on your landing page. After the large headline, you could have a small headline as well, which having smaller fonts allows you to maybe have a little bit longer sentence, again, talking about what it is that someone's going to get or achieve if they give you their contact information. Then after the headline and subheadline, you wanna have a more in-depth description, maybe a couple of bullet points of what it is someone would get if they sign up. If this is something that maybe needs a little bit more convincing, you could also include a video. So everything we're talking about right now is all above the fold, so someone doesn't have to scroll down to see any of the things we're talking about right now. Then after the description or the video, you wanna have a call to action either the form itself or a button that pops open and has the form where somebody would sign up. So you wanna have some type of phrase saying, hey, sign up now, or get the guide, or start learning this right now. Something that ca captures someone's attention and causes them to take action, signing up for your freebie. So some people are ready to sign up and something really concise like everything I just talked about is all they need to sign up and that should all be above the fold. Other people may need more convincing before they're ready to sign up. And so here's what you wanna include below the fold. So the first of which could be social proof. There's a lot of different types of social proof. It's basically showing the viewer, the person that's on this page right now, that you're credible and you're an expert in your field. So this could be logos of publications you've appeared in. This could be client testimonials, or if you work with large recognizable brands, it could be the logos of your clients. So the next thing is to tell your story. So why does this exist? Why did you create this landing page? Why are you giving this away? What situation is your ideal customer in or the person on this landing page? Where are they right now and where do they wanna go? And ideally this free thing that you're giving away brings them at least a couple of steps closer to where they wanna go. Probably their end goal is maybe something that you will sell to them, something that's not free, but what you're giving away for free moves them in the right direction. Also, you don't want your landing page to be 100% text. Like I mentioned earlier, you can include a video. You wanna make sure to have at least a couple images, icons, illustrations, something that represents whatever it is you're talking about. Like they say, a picture is worth a thousand words and not everyone wants to read a thousand words when it can be explained in a picture or two. If someone on your landing page can scroll down and there are several pages of content, you wanna include a button or another form all the way at the bottom so if someone scrolls all the way down there, they don't have to scroll all the way back to the top to sign up if you have a button that brings them back up to the top or the button or the form at the bottom so they can sign up there as well. 
So that's the basics of what to include on a landing page. The landing page itself isn't what's going to convince someone to sign up and give you their contact information. It's what you're giving away for free. If you want some ideas on freebies to give away to grow your email list, check out the video up above right here. So now let's talk about when to use landing pages. Landing pages are phenomenal to create once and then just continually send traffic to them getting signups and growing your email list. So our largest source of signups on our landing pages are our YouTube videos. So on YouTube, when I'm talking about whatever topic it happens to be, I can say, hey, and if you wanna learn more about X topic, there's a link in the description below to our free guide. So days, weeks, and months after that YouTube video is posted, the video continues to get views, cont people continually hear me pitch the free thing that we're giving away, go to the description and sign up on our landing page. The second way to get traffic to your landing page is through social media. So this could be Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Facebook, any social media channel. Think about how can you create content that's gonna get in front of a lot of people. And in that content mention, hey, by the way, if you wanna learn more about this topic, click on this link, wherever it happens to be on that social channel, taking people to your landing pages and growing your email list. The third way to get traffic to your landing pages could be through your website and your blog, but a lot of times you can just use a form instead. So if someone is reading an article on your blog and you have something you wanna give away for free for their email list that's related to that topic, Generally, in a couple of sentences, you could summarize it and get someone to sign up. If it's something that's more in depth and you want to not just have a form on your website, you could have a sentence or two, kind of the headline and subheadline and a button that would take someone to your landing page where they could sign up. And the fourth way to generate traffic to your landing pages and probably the most used way is through paid traffic through advertising. So this could be Facebook ads, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Twitter, TikTok basically every social media channel, Google, all have some type of ads where you can get in front of your ideal audience today. So you choose the audience targeting, the ad, and from there, drive traffic to your landing page. The thing is, cold traffic or someone that doesn't know you that has seen your ad versus someone that's maybe watching a 20 minute YouTube video are quite different. So someone that's watching a YouTube video of yours, spent 15 minutes with you, and then goes to a link in the description, they probably don't even need to read the landing page. Whatever you said, the video may have convinced them, they go and sign up. So for this cold user, someone that didn't know you before and saw the ad, you're gonna need to go into more detail to convince them that, hey, they should sign up for this. Everyone already gets it's enough emails and so it really needs to be something of value from someone they don't know to give away their name and email address so for what i recommend earlier on what to include on a landing page you want to have something more in depth if you're using it for cold traffic if you're using it for warm traffic so a link in your bio and in instagram or in the description of a youtube video it could be really something simple like this this is what we use for some of our landing pages for our guides in spanish you can see really really simple so think about what type of traffic you're gonna be driving to your landing page and design it accordingly. Then the bonus tip I promised at the beginning of the video, if you wanna spy on your competitors, see the ads they're running, the landing pages and sales pages they're using, you can go to Facebook Ads Library. Once you're in the Facebook Ads Library, you choose the country, the type of ads you wanna see, and then search for the account. From there, you can see all of their recent ads. You can click on it, read the entire copy, watch their videos, and then you can click on the ads and be taken to the landing page or the sales page they're using. So if you wanna have ideas for inspiration of how things are designed, what to include, what colors, how people talk in their sales video, check out Facebook Ads Library. We have a whole video walking you through how to use it. I'll link to it up above right here. If after watching this video, you're convinced that you need to start creating landing pages, but you don't wanna be paying for another software for your business, don't worry, you're in luck. There are five free landing page softwares that we talk about in this video right here. Also, if you wanna learn what is a sales page and how you can use one, to grow your business online, check out the video below. Hope to see you in those and in future videos. Bye.